Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about concept of a black body. So here students, we will see the normal body versus black body. Second, Hallram experiment and graph and its explanation. Third, important points regarding black body. So students, see here. Suppose this is a normal body as you can see and here is a light source and from the light source there is a application of the incident radiation as you can see here this light source emits the incident radiation on this normal body as you can see here due to this incident radiation part of it gets reflected as you can see here in this diagram is this diagram and part of it the part of this incident radiation gets transmitted through the body as you can see here and part of this incident radiation is absorbed in this normal body as you can see here okay so see here this reflection is denoted by rho that is reflectivity as you can see here and transmission that is transmittivity here is denoted by tau and is absorptivity absorption absorptivity is denoted by alpha as you can see here okay this is the case of the normal body okay this gives us the equation which is absorptivity plus reflectivity plus transmittivity is equal to 1 that is alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1 this is the equation for normal body which will be applied by the incident radiation as you can see here so here in this case absorption coefficient that is alpha, alpha here absorptivity absorption coefficient can be 100% it can be 80% it can be 30% or any because some part is absorbed some part is reflected some part is transmitted okay so further now see here this suppose this is a black body note that black body is not actually in black color black body means it has the the body which has the properties of black body is called as black body okay it is not in actually uh, in a black color okay now so further see here suppose this is a light source again here and from this light source incident radiation is uh, is strikes on this black body as you can see here because of this incident radiation all the radiant energy radiation energy gets absorbed inside this black body because of this absorption its temperature increases and as this because of this this because of this absorption this black body possesses some energy okay okay now see here this absorption absorption absorptivity that is alpha is equal to 1 in this case because all the incident radiation gets absorbed in this black body okay so absorption coefficient is 100% here in this case further see here black body radiations as I have told you this black body absorbed all the incident radiation here due to this its energy increases its temperature increases due to this there is there is a generation of the electromagnetic waves as you can see here this is called uh, called as black body radiation okay now further see here carbon black shows us the 99 percent absorption coefficient okay further see a black body is an object that absorbs all the radiant energy reaching its surface as we have seen here the incident radiation all all the energy is absorbed by the black body of this incident radiation which is came from this light source okay further no actual body is perfectly black please note that okay now further see 
suppose this is a holorum that is uh, suppose this is a cavity okay okay now see here this is our light source from this light source ray incident radiation ray of incident radiation is uh, strikes inside this holorum or we can call it as cavity also because of this this is a um, holorum okay okay now see because of this incident radiation some energy of this incident radiation is absorbed in this body holorum body okay and some it gets reflected again some energy is absorbed and some gets reflected and again some energy is absorbed again some energy gets reflected and again some energy here absorbed and again reflected and again some energy is absorbed here and again reflected and at the last very small negligible amount of energy will go out of this cavity as you can see here as you have seen the light as i have shown here the incident radiation thickness of each line is reduced this shows that um, this holorum absorbed incident radiation energy and very little amount of energy gets outside this holorum okay further this is the best example of the black body okay further now see here this is a graph which 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 has which has wavelength on x axis and spectral energy on y axis as you can see here see suppose see as at 3500 kelvin this is the 3500 kelvin temperature line okay as here see as the wavelength increases here as you can see here as wavelength increases the spectral energy increases and at some point this spectral energy is maximum see here at this point that is at this wavelength this spectral energy is maximum after that as the wavelength increases the spectral energy gets decreases as you can see here further now see this uh, second example suppose the now we increase the temperature to up to 400 4000 kelvin so here again as wavelength increases the spectral energy increases and at some point that is this point this spectral energy is maximum at this wavelength further this wavelength the our spectral energy gets reduce gets uh, get, reduces as you can see here this is the 4000 kelvin temperature constant temperature we have maintained further see here again now we will see the next example here at at constant temperature 4500 kelvin here similarly temperature as the wavelength increases our spectral energy gets increases and at some point it's uh, at some wavelength it is maximum at some wavelength it is, the spectral energy is maximum and further that the spectral energy again decreases as you can see here this is same for 5000 kelvin line then again for the um 5500 kelvin temperature okay now see here from this graph here understood that at constant temperature as the wavelength increases the spectral energy is increasing as you can see here and at some wavelength its spectral energy is maximum as you can see here in this diagram and after that wavelength here in this case in 5500 kelvin in this case this is the 500 wavelength at 500 nanometer wavelength the spectral energy is maximum and further that as the wavelength increases the spectral energy gets decreases at constant temperature okay and further one more thing here as you can see here as we increase the temperature here as we increase the temperature spectral energy gets increases that is uh, 
spectral energy is directly proportional to the temperature and one more thing here as we increase the temperature here as you can see here the that the wavelength at which we get maximum spectral energy gets uh, decreases as we increase the temperature as you can see here the um, at five at 3500 kelvin we have here wavelength the at 4000 kelvin we have here wavelength maximum sector energy at maximum at uh, wavelength from this we can conclude that uh, as the temperature increases the wavelength at which we get the maximum spectral energy gets a decreases as you can see here okay now see further at given temperature the energy is not uniformly distributed in radiation spectrum of hot body as we have seen here okay at a given temperature the intensity of radiation increases with increase in wavelength and at particular wavelength its value is maximum as we have seen here as the at given temperature this temperature uh, intensity of radiation or we can call it as spectral energy increases with increase in wavelength and at particular wavelength it is maximum as you can see here and further it is uh, further as wavelength increases the spectral energy gets decreases okay now further see here with increase in temperature wavelength at maximum spectral energy decreases as we have seen here here as temperature increases the wavelength decreases okay at uh, at maximum spectral energy okay further see here because of this lambda that is wavelength is inversely proportional to temperature further spectral energy is directly proportional to temperature okay now further see here this is our diagram of black body now first point is here black body absorbs all the incident radiation falling on it and does not transmit or reflect regardless of wavelength and direction as we have seen all the and incident radiation energy is absorbed by the black body further it black body emits maximum amount of thermal radiations at all wavelengths at any specified temperature as we have seen here black body radiations happened due to the energy within the black body and uh, and due to oscillation of the particles uh, which causes the electromagnetic waves to come out okay further it is a diffuse emitter that is the radiation emitted by the black body is independent of direction as we have seen here the um, emissions are going any direct go, are going in the any direction as we have seen here further the origin of the radiation from a heated body is rapidly vibrating particles known as oscillators i have told you because okay about that further according to maxwell electromagnetic theory these oscillators radiates energy in the form of electromagnetic waves as we have seen here these black body radiations are actually uh, electromagnetic waves okay further note that isothermal furnaces with small apertures approximate a black body and are frequently used to calibrate heat flux gauges thermometers and other radiometric devices okay so students in this video we have understood about concept of black body thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you